Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's a bit of a different one so I have not vlogged in a hot minute and I cannot remember the last time I did a hospital vlog but today is the day I am going to do another one. So basically the plan hopefully for today is to get me off steroids. Um, as most of you know I'm now only on one milligram of steroids which is barely anything so hopefully I get all the thumbs up today and it goes smoothly and I then only get left on cyclosporin and lazartan. Um, but yeah, I've already got ready and I'm about to take my medication because I'm about to have my breakfast. So I thought I'd show you guys what I'm on now and what's going on really. I've got my Weetabix, I've got my water and I also have my tablets with me. So I'm gonna actually take my tablets first just to get that out of the way. Um, so these are the lazartan tablets that I take and these are 25 milligrams film coated tablets. Um, I think the brand is Sandos? Sandos? I think I've definitely said that wrong, but these are the ones that I take anyway. Um, these always come in different packages and different brands, so I think my body is just, like it doesn't really matter what brand it is, but these are the ones I'm taking at the moment. So I'll only take one of those. And then this is obviously the prednisolone that I take, and this is the brand Activis. Um, and there's 28 tablets in this, and these are only one milligram ones. So I'll take one of those as well. Um, and then these are the cyclosporine tablets that I take at 100 milligrams. So the packaging looks like this. And this is the brand Neoral. And I actually got given a different brand, I think sometime last year, and it really didn't agree with me. So I feel like my body is used to having Neoral ones and they are a bit more expensive. Um, it says at the top, Novartis Neural 100 milligrams and basically I take two of these a day but I split them so for example I will take these two in one day but now I'll only take this one and then I'll take this one tonight at 9 p.m. or something like that um so yeah I'm just going to take those and eat my breakfast and I will chat to you guys about what is going on today exactly so basically as you know, I live in Greater London um, and my hospital is at what I like to call home home. So home home for me is about four hours drive away. So hence why I'm up at stupid early hours in the morning. Um, and basically I've got to get the train into central London. So I've got to go to Euston and then from Euston, I then get the train to Shrewsbury, which is in Shropshire. And overall, I think that's going to take me about three hours because my train's at about nine and I get there about 12 um, and then I'm going to meet my dad at the station because thank the lord he's coming with me um, I mean I am 21 and I could be go by myself but this is a big deal for me so I was like dad you need to be there with me and mum couldn't come because she's at work so he's coming with me um, please excuse me while I just take these tablets and basically he's going to come pick me up from the station I'm going to go to the hospital we're going to wait and probably wait for a very long time because my doctor is always late. Um, and then I think we're going to go for a really nice meal afterwards just to have a nice catch up because obviously I don't live at home anymore. So it'd be really nice to catch up with him again. Excuse me. And then, yeah, after that, I've booked my train until a lot later because you never know. I never know how late he's going to be as in my doctor. So I thought the later I book it, the better. Um, and then I'm just going to get the train back to London and I should be back at about 9pm. Um, I am supposed to have college today, so it's show term, so we have a show going on in July. And again, as most of you know, I'm a dancer, I, I perform. Um, I go to a dance school in Greater London and like I said, it's show term. And it is really annoying that I have to miss rehearsal, so I have to miss the whole day of rehearsal because obviously I have to travel for the whole day. Um, but you know what? It, it's it is what it is and I would rather go to a hospital appointment and check if my health is all okay than go to a day of rehearsals because the hospital appointment is going to benefit me more than the rehearsal, you know? Um, and as I've always said, your health comes first. Yeah, I'm going to eat my breakfast so I'm going to see you on the other side and hopefully I'm brave enough to vlog outside a bit. I don't know if that's going to happen yet, um, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, I will see you either when I'm on the train or when I'm on the other side in Shrewsbury. I don't know yet, but I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, excuse the really awful angle, but I'm literally trying not to draw attention to myself because I am putting myself about vlogging this. It is really bright outside, so I'm glad I decided not to wear a coat. 
Um, this weather's been really weird lately, so basically last week it was like thunderstorming and today is going to be like 24 degrees and I'm currently a bit blinded and I can't really see but um, yeah, I'm about to get the train I'm going to try and get the 805 train and that should get me into Central for about 9 I like to get there early just because I know that if I get a last minute train I'm probably not going to make it so yeah, I'm about to get to the station and get on my train and okay, one woman's just looked at me funny lol um, but yeah, so I'm going to stop vlogging now because I feel very self-conscious I shall see you when I'm on the train We're now approaching Watford Junction. Okay, again, sorry for the really bad angle. Publicly vlogging makes me nervous. Um, my journey has taken a unexpected turn and basically all the trains to Shrewsbury from Birmingham were canceled. So I was like, oh no. Um, so I've had to come to Wolverhampton and my dad's kindly said that he'd come pick me up from Wolverhampton instead of Shrewsbury. But basically my dad lives an hour away from Wolverhampton so now I've got to kill time in Wolverhampton for an hour, I'm not really sure what to do. But I think I might find a Costa. And I'm sure there's one about somewhere, but I have no clue where I'm going. And I'm just aimlessly walking. And I genuinely look like a lost child. Um, never been to Wolverhampton before. And I'm just going to wing it. And hopefully Google Maps will take me to coffee somewhere. Because this isn't a good start to the day. Um, but I will update you later on when I've actually arrived at the hospital. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I've made it to the hospital in one piece and it didn't actually take that long to get here, probably in about 48 minutes. Um, I'm really early and I am so shocked. I bet my dad five pound that my doctor would be at least 10 minutes late and he's on time. So I now owe my dad five pounds because I was so wrong. <laughs> Excuse that I'm a sweaty mess, but it's absolutely boiling in Shrewsbury. I gave in a urine sample and I had a blood test done. And I think the lady was quite new because it wasn't the best blood test I've ever had, but it wasn't the worst, but there we go. Um, what had been discussed in the room with my doctor was basically, after my doctor gets back the blood test results, he can then let me know if I can come off the steroids basically, because that was the initial plan. So I can't actually tell you guys until I know myself, which will probably be a couple of days time. So I will have to update you then and I'll probably stick it on the end of this vlog. But right now we're gonna go get some food because we're both absolutely starving. I just remembered, I also asked him how long I would have to stay on the cyclosporin for. And he basically said now it would be a minimum of about five years just because he was saying that he had another patient who was in the same boat as me and he ended up getting a relapse just really unexpectedly and now he's having to have the um, infusions done and he really doesn't want that for me so he said about five years minimum which I'm like fine with, um, that's cool with me and then I asked about the Lazartan and he basically said that I won't be off Lazartan like I'll basically be on it for a very very long time just because apparently your blood pressure is to do with um, nephrotic syndrome as well so that always has to be like regulated and whatever. He basically said, for now, stay on the cyclosporin for a minimum of five years. I can come off the one milligrams if the blood test comes back as all good. And Lazartan will be for quite a while. But if I was planning on having children, which I'm not anytime soon, then I must let him know because apparently Lazartan can give your child birth defects. So yeah, he said, if I was to plan on have kids anytime soon, um, then I need to let him know, so I need to come off those, basically. Hello, it's me again. Um, so it's now been a few days and I've had great news, so I can now come off the steroids. My nephrologist got in contact with me and said that everything's all good, the blood test came back fine, my kidney... my kidney? My kidney function is all good and 
that means I can come off the steroids basically. So I will still be taking the 200 milligrams of cyclosporin twice a day. So split between 100 in the morning and 100 at night time. And also the 25 milligrams of lazartan. Um, but now this means that I have to have a blood test regularly. So I have to have one every three months now instead of every time I go and see my nephrologist, which would be every six months. Um, this is just to check that everything's working fine, obviously without the steroids and to see if anything changes or again, just if things are going well. Um, fingers crossed they do go well because I do not want to be put back on them. Um, but yeah, it's just to check really about the white blood cell count, I believe. Because I think if it goes too low, then that means basically your body is not working and you've got to panic a little bit then. But yeah, I do hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know if you'd like me to vlog every time I go to the hospital because I now only have to go every six months. So the next time I'll go is um, January, I think it's booked for. If you do have any questions about this vlog or my trip to the hospital, um, please do leave them down in the comments below and I will try and answer as many as I can. You guys are great. You always comment such really good questions actually on all my videos and sometimes I'm just sat there like, I don't know how to answer that, but um, it's so nice to know that I'm not alone and you guys know it's nice that you're not alone because I post these videos and the support over the last three years, especially on this channel, has been incredible. I just didn't expect it at all. Um, but yeah, speech over. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell notification so you are notified every time I upload a video, uh, which will hopefully be a lot more once I've graduated in a couple of weeks' time. I will see you next time, guys, with another video. Bye. Hey, Daddy, watch out with those lights. Mm -hmm.